All right, so I do have another neat project, although it's been a while. Um, what this is, is pretty much a, I don't know what to call it exactly, a voxel game engine or a voxel renderer, or I don't know. Uh, it's pretty simplistic right now. Um, pretty much everything is ray traced, for just ray traced shadows on the software side. And uh, because it's on the software side, it actually runs pretty decently on low-end hardware. Like, I think the lowest end I tested on was like a GTX 960, which it ran pretty well. Um, despite not supporting hardware ray tracing. But uh, yeah, I need, the world is fully destructible since it's voxels. Um, dig yourself a hole and you can see the shadows are properly uh, lighting up this cave as you'd expect. Um, Get out of here. <laughs> oh boy. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much all I have for this right now. Uh, there is some rendering errors, like you can see, like this because of the floating precision. Uh, there is some little black dots around, um, and there's also some other uh, errors as well. I can show you the uh, how the steps the rays are taking here. Um, so you can see there's a lot of wonky noise going on. Um, that has been causing some annoying issues that I'd like to get fixed in the future. Um, I, th I believe the GitHub repo I had, I had updated, uh, updated with is also has even more buggier rendering than this at the moment. Like th this does bug out on occasion if I can get it to. Um, yeah, like right there, I can see the cubes kind of flickering. Does have the occasional bug due to those errors. Uh, it probably needed me to need an entire rewrite, but anyways, uh, yeah, this is pretty much all I have for now. Um, the GitHub link will be available, and uh, yeah, we'll see how long it takes to get this thing fixed up to a point where it'd be good to actually maybe start making a game in it. All right.